So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is creating dynamic SQL derived tables with lookml and liquid. So first of all click on start lab and if you want to know how to enable this check my progress check the description for it. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. So let's start. Now open the looker in incognito window and then enter the basic credentials that is username and password and just log in. Now just follow the way I am doing to get full score on this lab. Enter the details. Present on the lab instructions like this. Again, paste over here. And now the most important thing for this lab is that first step is enabling of development mode. Let me show you what is development mode. Now here as you can see here the top at the bottom here is one development mode. So for editing the files in the looker we need to enable this. So first of all just click over here. First we need to wait for the page to load and now it's opening. Now in the description box of this video I share one repository which we will be using for this lab. So first of all click on develop and then open quick labs e-commerce. So this is the repository basically we have to update the files so wait for some time make sure you have copied the file content this one like this and then just go to models and click on this now just replace the content control a and then first make sure you have copied that file and then press control v now save the changes now here you click on views three dots and just create a new view so for the view name you have to just check the lab instruction or for your easiness i have just added it in the repository too so just scroll down and copy this name user underscore facts make sure there is no extra space or anything else except the name click on create now replace the entire contents again you have to just replace the entire content so just control a and then backspace so just select entire contents and just copy the content from here and just paste and save changes now as you have saved the file what you need to do let me explain so after that you have to just click on validate lookml and make sure that all files have been correctly modified if you see any other issue just open the file again and paste here now if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now click on commit so after that you have to commit it and just deploy to production so finally this has been done now let's say check my progress folder task so you may not get score instantly you need to wait for a few more seconds like 20 seconds sometimes up to one minute so just wait for it so finally we got the score and we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead thank you